Hey guys, Rival X Factor here with Rival Gaming. It's time to talk guns post patch and my top couple of assault kits. By now, you've either been in the game and realized that suppression now is no joke. It doubles and triples your recoil. Not a lot of fun, okay? So you gotta learn how to counter that. So what I have here is I have the L85. It's a gun I've been kind of watching in the patch notes. And I equipped a heavy barrel and a foregrip on it. Now I'm gonna shoot it without countering the recoil. And it travels in pretty much a straight up manner. So this gun's really easy to control the recoil on. And you could shoot 10 round bursts and this thing's super accurate. The downside is it shoots slow, okay? That's the only downside compared to the M16, A3, or some of the other guns. The other bonus about this gun is look how fast I'm moving while aiming down sight. So if you're peeking, hiding behind a corner, sticking out, shooting real quick, this is a pretty good gun to try that with, okay? Because you don't lose any speed, all right? So keep that in mind, L85, heavy barrel, foregrip, and then Cobra. Also of note, you could take the heavy barrel, I'm sorry, you could take the heavy barrel off of this, and I'll show you that on another setup I like for this gun as well. Okay, the next combo that we have for L85 is no foregrip with flash suppressor. I kind of favor this one right now, the flash suppressor, because I'm all about reducing recoil, okay? So let's just shoot this without countering, and look at that. It doesn't travel nearly as high as with the heavy barrel. So what does that mean? That means the countering of the recoil is a heck of a lot less, all right? That was, uh, what was that, about 17, 18 bullets right there, one burst. And again, this gun isn't terribly fast, so as a CQC gun, it's not the best, but from a medium to long range standpoint, I really like this L85, especially with the flash suppressor. Okay, time for the M16 A3, and I like a flash suppressor with underslung barrel, no foregrip, because it seems that the foregrip kind of muddies your accuracy after that medium range. So let's see what this gun shoots like with the flash suppressor underslung rail without countering the recoil. So kind of similar pre-patch is that same top right recoil. It's just increased a tad bit. So how do we counter this? Well, it's not too bad. And you still need a burst fire this gun to maintain its accuracy. I also like heavy barrel, no foregrip with this M16 A3. The suppressor is horrible for accuracy now at medium and long range. So your best bet is if you're looking for a medium long range weapon like the L85 or the M16 is these attachments flash suppressor or heavy barrel just remind yourself that heavy barrel has a heck of a lot more kick on the initial recoil than flash suppressor does the last gun I want to talk about is the AK right now I have no foregrip and heavy barrel on this gun and the reason why I like this gun is it's slow shooting much like the L85 but the accuracy is absolutely disgusting Okay, you could do five round bursts, six round, seven round bursts, and the accuracy is just disgusting. So this might not be the ultimate CQC gun, but if you're in a medium or long range map such as Sane or parts of Bazaar, this gun will be uh, a surprise for you. So these are the three guns that I'm going to rotate between, the LE5, M16, and the AK until I find the one I really like for all situations. It might be the LA-85, it might be the M16 still, but I'm going to start rotating more guns into my gameplay based on their strengths and weaknesses. People are going to say, well, the KH is really, really good. I personally don't like burst fire weapons. It's not for me. Um, I like controlling every single bullet and not having just one option to click the button and have three bullets come popping out of the thing. So hopefully this helps you guys. Remember, I don't approve of flash, I'm sorry, I don't approve of suppressor. I do approve of heavy barrel and flash suppressor. Okay, if you're in a CQC thing, try laser. Also of note is heavy barrel, AEK, foregrip. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So good luck guys finding a, a combination of weapon and attachments that work for you.